Yes, this is the... <laughs> I, I, I missed the historic moment of us um, launching the new channel because I didn't know we were live. Hello, this is the premiere of the <laughs> Rules Lawyer Live Play channel. And uh, to... <clears throat> we had a successful Marshalls and Casters event on my original channel but they are very long events and recordings so it made sense for us to have a different channel for you the hardcore audience that are will, uh, willing to uh, engage with uh, all of the discussions and uh, play that we've been doing so and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss future content like no <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you <laughs> If you had not, if you didn't, had not subscribed, you would not have gotten the notification of where this new, new live URL was. And you need to subscribe because we will have more future t technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, on day one, um, Casters v. Marshalls took on room one. Um, took us uh, about four hours as we're dealing with the interface and also learning how to do a live event, a uh, live Pathfinder event on Foundry. And in the upper half, the casters took on, there was a camped archer in darkness and there were some air, small, weak air elementals going after them. And uh, team casters uh, uh, looked like a World War II tank as they approached very quickly slowly and defensively and drew and the skeleton ran out of the, the archer ran out of arrows two marshals uh was able eventually after dealing with some illumination problems brought on by the methods charge the archer and uh do, do it in any uh, uh anything anyone want to say about day one um it was a really interesting fight to see the different approaches different characters used to get across. Um, mm -hmm. The marshals got across much faster, but a little more. And the casters waited until the archer ran out of arrows and then killed it. Yeah. Which is an interesting strategy that uh, works well in this context. And never and happens I'm, hardly ever. Yeah, I'm excited to see what new strategies are used in the coming rooms. Like, I'm surprised the, the Skeleton Archer even had a finite arrow count. I was assuming it didn't until it came up. Oh, I we didn't really consider it. It was just in the stat block. <laughs> you know? No, valid. Yeah, no, that's fair. It's hard for me ho hosting the stream to see, but it has um, are all of this people, uh, all the captains, did they put what team they're on in their nickname so that the audience yep. can follow? The audience yes, can see yeah. who's speaking when, when uh, someone's icon is highlighted. Any other comments from the captains about day one? Uh, day one had a lot of people being very chaotic on our side and talking. And right now the voice chat on my end is empty. So, you know, <laughs> pressure. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, uh, captains, if you want to notify people, you can use, I guess, yeah, you can just, you know ping your team if you feel the need to to let them know that they said they were available for this time frame and why aren't they here um yeah it, it helps more minds is helpful the, yeah no that, that is a lot of pressure on just one person to run the the marshall team yeah yeah no but definitely we i mean i on the other hand, we're live, so we can't really take a few minutes, but we can. No, no, no. Like, I respect it, and now I have some people coming on into the corner, so I'm going to be fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, is that Morgan for Team Casters? Correct, yeah. Morgan okay. or Malkin. Okay, any comments? You don't need to make any. As, as far as last time? Yeah. Uh, well, on the one hand, it was a low-difficulty encounter. On the other hand, and so we didn't use up too many resources. On the other hand, we did use one of our precious heals, so that is a fact that we are considering going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll reserve any further commentary otherwise. Yeah, resource management is uh, clearly going to be an issue for team casters. And the terrain um, certainly probably made that at least a moderate fight, just because, you know, greater cover and very hard to reach the archer and stuff certainly adds to the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. 
And we measured the encounters purely by creature difficulty, and yes, th uh, that was a low encounter. Uh, if uh, I have the chat up, Sam, on my end, but and so I'm able to see chat, but also uh, help me see messages. But yeah, yeah the moderate and severe have not uh, been uh, have not happened yet. <clears throat> I'm mostly looking at Foundry, but I will try to keep an eye out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I forget who made this comment, but it was very uh, 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 a good co a good observation. But that uh, team marshals and their builds and their and their tactics have had to compensate for not having a caster, and the casters the same. Casters have actually uh, found some ways to get their defenses up, and yeah. yeah. Caster, casters ran Sims and one snake companion was not cutting it, so we made a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, and our teams are so uh, hardcore that they've done sims. Yes. Yes, we have literally put each other's builds into Foundry manually, uh -huh. and then and started right doing test fights of the PvP section. So no, this is a highly prepped thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been very interesting as a judge who's able to see both chats, seeing the strategies develop, and the yeah. anticipating, you know, what the other team's going to do, how to counter it. It's been a really cool, you know, Exercise yeah. and watching people theory craft or you know just make these crazy characters. And after the events completely over, after day three, hopefully we will uh, open all the chats for the public. So mm -hmm. that will be fun. Yes, although I would be very impressed if anyone manages to read through all of the chat. Uh, it some, might happen. Yeah, some people but will, Sam. Yep. yep. <laughs> I mean, the highlights are going to be pinned, <laughs> so... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so after uh, you defeated that room, each party now has 60 minutes in-game to uh, reach the second room. But there is this foreboding hallway that's 10 feet wide and <clears throat> 450 feet long. And how do you want to approach this either of you can start uh since and I know... also i'll just say too that if you want to uh, demonstrate a marching order you can use foundry right now and do that that works um i know that team marshall might still be getting its stuff together while we're switching a captain um and we kind of know what we want to do okay so you know if yeah martin swing up we'll go first they'll give you a little more time to get things sorted Work for you? Uh, I'm gonna go talk with the people in my corner right now and make sure that I have the correct plan in mind. That All right. works. Alrighty. Meanwhile, we'll take our turn here. Alrighty. Um, so, let's see. The first thing that we're planning on doing is we're gonna spend 10 minutes doing uh, treat wounds on our poor snakes. Um... So let's. Oh, uh, let's not right. execute anything yet. I just want to hear any over your overall, what you've decided okay. on so far, because okay. uh, I'm just trying to maintain. Uh, I don't know what the word okay. is. Simultaneity between the two to the extent possible. I get you. Don't talk without them on the line. Okay. No, um, no, no, no. That. The... Um, uh, like, for example, if, if if while you're waiting, um, Team 2 discovers something that would have then kind of give meta knowledge. Uh, true. true, true. All right, fair enough. Um, yeah. Well, our general plan is, you know, heal the, heal the snakes for 10 minutes, mm -hmm. advance while searching for traps, uh, and then, you know, encounter traps, deal with them. If we take damage, we spend the next, you know... 40 or 50 minutes thereafter healing up and then we go into the next room. We also have some items that we want to trade out between characters. Um, would would you be okay with it if we handle that now while we're waiting? Yeah, we should handle that now, but give me one sec. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I need to look up something. <clears throat> so hold on, I just need to look yep. at hold some on. 
stat blocks here. Alright. I talked to the other people and figured out what my builds want to do. Okay, good. Hold on. Okay, um, Swing Ripper, do you go by another name? Uh, I go by Sean if you want to call me that. Sean? Okay. Yeah, um, what, were, what did you guys discuss? Uh, we discussed how our characters have both assurance alongside risky surgery, and that is allowed for this bout. It is. Yes. So I was just talking about what we should have all of our healers be doing for now. And we came to the conclusion to have both uh, Daddy Drowface and Harvey Birdman do Assurance plus Risky Surgery on the Monk. <laughs> and because... Wait, both at the same... You, you can't... Oh, both at the same time. He has 16. Ah, uh, yeah. Then that would be an issue because 16 is uh, 8 plus 8. So if I min roll, then that... Yeah, but... Do, okay... They can't treat wounds at the same time. On oh, they can't person. treat wounds at the same at the same time. Yeah, the continual. Yeah, I mean, the ten minutes. minutes. Since you guys have continual recovery, you have to wait ten minutes before the next. Uh, but that ten minutes is the ten minutes they spend treating wounds. I know, okay. but I thought I heard him say they're simultaneous. Yeah, I, I thought that I was going to have two people treat at the same time. So I'm just going to have each one treat wounds another guy with assurance and. Uh, Risky surgery. Okay. Hold on. I just see that the chat's not... Uh, the okay. the stream's key okay, to the wrong chat, so give me a second. Ah. Okay. There we go. All right. I heard your intentions, so... Um, I um, heard so, that team casters wanted to trade some equipment among each other. Team casters? Yes. Uh, yeah. So, for that, um, we wanted to swap the expanded healer tools from our cleric, Prince Chuffy Lick Wounds, to Gex, and then, of course, swapping the healer tools back the other way as well. Oh, when you're when you're treating wounds. Uh, yeah, basically just prior just to just making the check real quick, just yeah, you know, quick swap, re-equip to warn. Yeah, um, that's um, I don't need that much detail. I mean, I'll what I I just need to know that you're going to be sharing it. Whoever's treating wounds is using the expanded healer's tools. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a it's also a permanent change hereafter. Oh, right. I see. So who's going to be keeping them? Uh, Gex. I see. Thank you. Yeah. Now, Gex has... <clears throat> excuse me. Gex has Ward Medic and Continual Recovery. So they're going to treat both snakes. Um, mm -hmm. So that's going to be... We can go ahead and do that roll. Yep. And plus one to this for the healer's tools. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, I should have clarified. We were going for uh, trained DC. Uh, so... Okay. Yeah, um, we will, we will generally be going for trained DC unless we specify otherwise. That'll be the default, uh, standard operating procedure. Alright. Um, okay, in which case, you know, that's a critical success. Um, now, uh, that is going to be 4D healing. No objects, so I will roll that. I generally do one roll for for both creatures. That works. Okay. Right. Twelve is restored to them. Alrighty. 
Oh, that cover has expired. Already. Okay, that's uh, the ca caster's first 10 minutes, and we're going over to the marshals. Alright. Uh, in addition to my previous plan, I'd also like the champion to be refocusing. Sure. Uh, and then I'm going to have Harvey Birdman heal John Claude with the assurance plus risky surgery. So that's non-risky surgery. <laughs> non-risky risky surgery, yeah. Yeah. Just uh, one d8 damage, forty-eight healing. So we're gonna go by raw here. We're gonna subtract a d8 first. Yep. To preserve all of the possibilities of the dice. Yep. So just roll a d8. Uh. Oh, snake no right. longer wounded. I'm gonna remove that. That's okay. That's, that's a d10. I'm gonna roll d8. This is the hit points lost. Five. Uh huh. And then I roll four d8. Mm -hmm. Uh. Thirteen. All right, John Claude Van Halen feels better. All right. So oh, interestingly, that time the risky surgery was actually a net negative by one. Although on average, it's definitely positive. On yeah. average, it is superior, but yeah. hey, risky. It's in the name. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is. It is not still risky, so it isn't um, completely. Yeah. Uh, um, and our investigator has Ward Medic as well, so I can have him just you. Actually, wait. what what is the investigator doing? Uh, also treating wounds on the ranger and champion if that is allowed. Oh, at the same time, yeah. Yep, because he has Ward Medic. Uh, that good. Yeah. And they're both near full, so I'm just going to roll the two d eight and not risk losing more. Yep. Okay. Tend to both. So that was Harvey and Doug. Yep. The, yep. the ranger and the yep. paladin. They should both be up to four. Okay. All right. Um, asking both teams, what uh, what do you do now? Oh, um, sorry. One more thing. For the last ten minutes, uh, Chuffy will also medicine check themselves real quick. Uh, oh. As well, Gex's. Yeah. The, in the first ten minutes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. do DC oh, pff, doesn't work anyway. I was gonna say we were going for DC fifteen. Alrighty. Um. Well, that's okay. They have continual recovery. All right. Actually, do they? Let me double check that. But I believe they did. And yeah, they do. All right. Sam, would um, you mind well, making all of their elevations? Wait, actually, I don't think their elevations carry over to the next map. So, never mind. I mean, well, I'm happy. I mean, should I? Would that? Mm. I've got nothing else to be doing right now. Sure. So. Okay. Right. Uh, teams, what are you doing now? I think that we are going to proceed to advance down the corridor. Okay. Um, but we will, for marching order, it's going to be. Let's do it like. So I'd say, um, for exploration activities, it's going mm -hmm. to be the search action in front of Mr. Snake here. Oh, I need to write his token. I turned him sideways because he got knocked down. Um, but anyway, uh, it's going to be search actions to see if the snake's about to run into any traps. But if we don't see anything, the snake that's at full health runs into the trap. If there is a trap, there's almost definitely a trap. <laughs> Wait, so the animal would be searching? Uh, they're all searching, but the animal's in front. Okay, well, I, I think technically, um, th there's actually, uh, animals don't do exploration activities. There's actually an ability that lets them do that. Fair uh, enough. Okay, um, in that case, then I guess they are also at the back. Okay. Uh, let me double check then who wants to go in the front, in which case I'll cede to the marshals while I figure that out. Okay, also, right. it looks like your light sources are in the back, too. Oh, they had light cast on them. Uh, I mean, cast it on a rock, toss it ahead of us periodically. Um, I instead. see. Gotcha. And uh, 
also tell me anything that you want to. I'm going to assume you're going to have in your hands what you had at the start of the first battle, because I had those written down. Okay, Team Marshals? Yeah, sure. Uh, Team Marshals will be doing more healing. Uh, our bird is missing 3 HP, and that is just simply unacceptable. <laughs> Yeah. So your, your party has uh, a good healthcare plan. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> we included dental as well, and it was one big bundle. It was nice. Um, well, yeah, the owl only doesn't really. But go ahead. Don't want to. I mean, I have two healers, so we're just gonna heal up the three HP. All right. Um, You're gonna play assurance. risky surgery to that owl. I do not really want to risky surgery the owl because okay. if one of the D8s just simply doesn't roll a one, then we're fine. <laughs> All right. So, and it's assurance, so it's already a success. So I'm just going to roll the two d eight. Not good. It's still pretty risky, though. It's only a sixty three out of sixty four chance. Like, is that yeah, really you're willing to take? I know. I know. Uh, I'm going to just roll the two d eight. Is that right with you? Oh, I'm you don't need to ask us. Uh, unless you're okay. talking to the owl. All right. <laughs> All right. The owl is full health. Um, Very good. I just want to make sure that I had permission to roll. Oh, okay. Um, Doug will. I mean, it, it's. Um, I'm sorry. Keep going. Uh, Doug will heal the monk with lay on hands and then go back to refocusing. Sure. So it's gonna get uh, the monk will get twelve health now. Yep. And then Harvey Birdman is gonna do a little bit of risky surgery with assurance. Mm -hmm. So oh, that right. is six damage. Okay. And. Yep. I actually yep. healed him. Uh, um, Twelve healing. Did were Wait, people that following? Was only three eight. Huh? That was only three eight. Oh, three eight. Oh, oops. Were people following? I feel like okay. I I believed I accidentally healed Jean Claude that six from risky surgery, and then so I applied six. I subtracted six, and I feel like it might have got twenty-four, and then got plus twelve from the champion. What did he have before? I That's thought he had twenty-four. Then champion would heal him up to thirty-six, and then his health bar is at thirty-six. All right, that, that, okay. That, that sounds right to me, but um, I'll defer to Chad if somebody's paying more attention to me. All right, because I was looking at all my other modifiers. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I think that's where we're at. So yeah, we're going to let Doug fun. refocus and then talk about our marching order in private columns if you don't mind us going there. Nope. The characters do not have free archetype. I'm responding to a question in chat. So what was uh, I think we'll I'll I'll um Team wait, Team Casters is going down the hallway and Team Marshals, what was the last thing you just said? They're going into a chat into their I secret see. chat last marching order, but I believe okay. they're going into Yeah, so at the 10 minute mark, we're exploring. I think that means they're exploring at the 20 minute mark. All right. And uh, we've kind of figured out what we want to do in terms of uh, marching order. Um, it's a 10 foot square adjacent to uh, the frontmost seeker for search. So the snake can still actually be in front, and then Gex and Mr. Adequate um, can kind of... Well, Gex has a plus 12 perception, so they're going to be the ones searching the foremost in our party, and then Mr. Adequate is plus 9, so they'll be immediately after. All right. Ronald, do we have a map for this hallway? I'm nope. realizing we can really... If we don't have a map for the hallway, we can use elevation to show how far down the hallway they've gone. We could, if there's conf confusion. Okay. Seems worth keeping track. And if we do that, we technically only need to use uh, it on the leader. That's true. Yeah, sure, I guess timely the rest of them could just be considered aiding. Mm. 
And I guess we should probably figure out some way for group to like declare what they're doing so that new information from the other hallway can't, you know, oh. alter their until they yeah. have that information. I have that oh, in mind. That. Oh, should we do the rest of our item switches uh, real quick? Because we have a little more. Sure. Alrighty. Um, we are going to have uh, do um, run it. Actually, let me run it by my chat real briefly. Okay. Alrighty, never mind on drinking, uh, drinking antidotes just yet, actually. Um, alright, so, the other thing that we wanted to do, uh, let me find my note to myself again. Okay. Yeah, um, Gex is giving the scroll of Wall of Wind to Bond Fisher as well. Okay. Put that on there. Okay. Alrighty. And that... Oh, and Bond Fisher will give one of the antidotes that they have to... Sorry, who, who held the Wall of Wind scroll before? I uh, Gex did. I see. Yeah, I'm updating it on the character sheets themselves, so they'll be there for reference. Um, and then Bon Fischo going to give one of the antidotes to Prince Chuffy, that is the cleric. Um, they're not going to drink them yet, they're just going to hold them. Okay. Okay, that did it smoothly. Good, good, good. All right. Um, and then, yeah, otherwise, as stated. Okay. All right, Team Marshalls, anything? Uh, Team Marshall is going to establish their marching order. Mm -hmm. And it will look something like this. Okay. Where now we have all the guys in a line. Sure. With an air behind the monk to avoid any possible explosives. Yeah. <laughs> um, because that is a concern that we have. Uh, and, uh, uh, Sam, they think we're so sadistic or something. Um, I, don't know. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we're not accusing you of anything. We're just saying, you know, the person who designed this dungeon <laughs> would probably want it to explode on us. Yeah, so, they're defending something. I mean, it's the rational thing no, to do. No comment. No comment. Yeah, uh, so we're just going to be a little scared. And... Uh, how about... A, do you have any other exploration activities? Exploration activities? I am going to have... Everybody except the monk, because the monk does not have his canny acumen on perception working properly. And the yes. monk will scout uh, for the plus one initiative. Looking into that. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, so they should oh, be... No. 
What should their proficiency in perception be? It should be expert because uh, on my our cheat sheet is it, it is had, expert. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, and my be? cheat sheet is the law. By the way, it's uh, if okay. anything in Foundry. I mean, where it's would just that? Be? Expert. I'm not. Mean how that can be. How it can be changed. Wait, no, uh, in Foundry, their initiative does include expert proficiency. For um, the monk, yes. Yeah. It's plus uh, It just got changed, ex I just clicked and it turned expert. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, there you go. Um, Alright. So, so, okay, uh, so in that case, I'm going to have the two people in the front are going to be looking for traps and seeking for that. Mm -hmm. The three in the back are going to be scouting for plus one initiative. Okay, and you're aware that doesn't stack, right? Uh, it doesn't stack with each other, but... Oh, it doesn't stack, so just one person scouting is plus one for the entire group? Yep. Yes. Okay. In that case, I'm going to have Champion also be seeking for traps. Okay. Okay. Alright. Are we ready to proceed, Sam? Um, I believe so, but we should... I um, have declarations of what happened, or, you know, what they're doing, but yeah, I think so. I think we have declarations uh, uh, at their exploration activities. I'm going to assume Team Marshalls also is going to have in their hands what they had at the beginning of the Room 1 battle. I have not heard any changes. Um, oh, any, um, mm -hmm. okay. any, so I believe everyone is satisfied with what they said? Okay. Well, hold on. I'm confirming where we got the 10-foot thing from, because if we can seek from further back, then we might want to do that. 10-foot um, square adjacent to the front of the seek. Did we get that from the seek action, maybe? Because technically... Okay, yeah, it's in the seek action. 15-foot um, burst or 30-foot cone... No, I think this would be the search exploration activity, no? Yeah, I think um I think it's a little it's a little more um worked out with the GM. Like one could be focused on the sky, for example, you know? Okay. Just tell the GM. Um Alright, yeah, the second line in seek just says search up to a ten foot square adjacent to you, so okay. Alright. But you're not seeking I mean, search. That gives you uh, an option, you know, if you want to be more specific. And... But you I don't, see. you're not limited to that. Okay, if they're allowed to seek from further than 10 feet back, then we... If you read the link I put in the YouTube chat, it's an exploration activity that's got its own rules laid out. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but um, search the exploration activity has you seek as like the first two words so you are doing seek while searching okay um well uh i think though that the gm i mean it's not limited to search either so i mean uh, gotcha. otherwise you can't look at the sky you know <laughs> yeah well uh, that's fair you yeah for... for a hidden trap on the sky would you well, if you're looking feeling. for an aerial ambush. Well, the, okay, so when it is a creature, yeah, it's a 30 foot cone. But we're searching for a hidden asset. That's a 10 foot cone. Yeah, an ambush would technically be Well, scattered. what I'll say, though, is if you're looking for fine detail, you know, you are going to be at a decided disadvantage looking from a distance. Um, okay. I mean. Possibly, it would possibly rule out seeing something if it if it requires seeing a fine detail, I mean, and this and the rules for seek would give guidance to that. It, it feels like we're kind of arguing against each other, but uh, actually using the same argument. Because I'm I'm just saying that the uh, to be able to detect the hidden hazard, it's ten feet, and I think you're agreeing with me on that argument. Um, also, it's just what it says in the seek action, <laughs> so there's no, not really much. Yeah, about. I mean, it's hard to talk about this when we don't know what... All I'm, I'm just defending, uh, mm -hmm. it's more flexible, but when 
with a particular, if there's a certain hazard in mind, then it makes more sense to talk about whether if something would have been detected then. Yeah, um, I guess That's it's good. the difference between saying we're watching for an ambush and we're looking for a secret door. And I think that what we're arguing, or what I am saying, is that we're doing the latter. And... But um, if, if we want to be more... If you're looking that, for I'm fine details, to... if that's yeah. uh, what you are, your intentions, then yes, I, I would use the limitations of the seek action. Right. Okay. Well, that, that was the intention, at least what we had discussed. Okay, good. We'll do that. Okay. Then I think in that case, um, Gex, with the plus 12 perception, is going to be a little bit ahead, doing the seek action. The others are going to be doing the more generic uh, search action, I'd say. Okay. All okay. right. All right. This and is like super military precision. Uh, with that being the ruling, the marshals will also like to clarify that our two in the front are looking for fine detail, and the three in the back are looking for ambush. Just gotcha. to keep it simple on everybody. All Although right. the owl can't be, or the bird can't be doing an exploration activity. Oh, the bird can't be doing exploration activities. Then the bird isn't doing anything. We just have two doing one type of searching, the other doing the other. Great. Okay. Okay. And all the, those worlds are secret, technically, so... Yeah. The bird's providing, you know, companionship. Yeah. yeah. The bird is More a friend. It, it's there for pets. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, I've already done my secret rolls, and 200 feet down the hallway, uh, you see... Oh, hold on. You see what look like corpses reaching out from the walls and the ceiling towards the party. They are moaning and spewing, writhing at maggots. And everybody needs to do a will save at this uh, frightening display of the unquiet dead. Alrighty. Animal Companions 2, we assume? Yes. Alrighty. After the... All right, declare who's rolling before doing the roll. But All right. you're free to just go ahead and do that. All righty. Um, I suppose, would casters like, would marshals like to go first? Uh, marshals are fine with going first. I just need to figure out it. So I just click on the thing and it goes into chat, right? I'm gonna try and get Doug to roll. Wait, is this and... official? Can we start um, with the front of your marching order? It's simpler. Front me. of the marching order. You got it. Uh, <laughs> looking at front of the marching order, that would be our ranger, Harvey Birdman. Uh-huh. And his roll will be at a plus 10. I'm going to look and check because I want to see this immediately. 29. Oh, very good. All right. He's only frightened one. Okay. Uh, then the next person on marching order is the monk. Who I am going to now roll for with a plus 10, 18. 18 is um, going to make him frightened too. Alright, then we have. I'm just going to close up some sheets so I can actually look at my marching order. Then we have Doug next, who will be rolling with a plus 11, 16. Okay, frightened too. Then we have. Daddy Drowface, who will be getting a plus 9 for a 16, again. Fr frightened, too. And the bird, who has a really, really absurdly high uh, saves, will be getting a 30. Ah. Good bird. <laughs> frightened 1. Ah. And people just told me something about Founder where I can click on somebody's token, and then there's, like, hot keys to roll on the top left. Yeah, on the upper left, yes. Yep. Okay. okay. Gex no, snack. No. Alrighty. Um, real quick, people in chat were asking for... I'm going to roll for them while I'm talking, but they were asking for the... Uh, 
character sheet location. Do we want to link that in chat? So that was Gex's Snake is a 16. Yes, please link it in chat. And if someone can make it a comment on the video also. In the previous yeah. stream, uh, there was a single and link that led to the Google directory. Yes, I'll link that. that the gauntlet thing, I'm going to just link yeah. that, I think. All right, think Gex's be. Snake is frightened too. Now Gex, it's master. Uh, that's good. Oh, Gex has a plus 12. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, all right, frightened one. He ain't mm -hmm. afraid of no ghosts, or much afraid. Mr. Adequate is frightened one. Uh, Prince Chuffy is frightened one. Bonficio, the wizard, is frightened. Fright, uh, frightened too, and uh, frozen in fear at the moment. I would mm. like like to mention something about our champion that I forgot, and my group mentioned. Oh, uh, our champion has aura of courage from right. class feats. Yes. What does that do? Okay, let's let's finish the uh, caster rolls, yep. and then correct stuff. Okay. Prince uh, Chuffy, so Prince Chuffy snack. Snack is okay. gonna be frightened one. Okay, so uh, what does Aura of Courage do? Uh, you Sorry. stand. Uh, whenever you become frightened, reduce the condition value by one to a minimum of zero. At the end of your turn, when you would oh. reduce frightened condition value by one you also reduce the value by one for all allies within 15 feet i see i accidentally dragged off the sheet and deleted um i'm going to just quickly re-put it onto the sheet so uh, doug glatt is uh only frightened one but he still has the failure effect right. yeah can you read the second half of that again sam yeah uh, at the end of your turn, when you re reduce your frightened value by one, you also reduce the value by one for all allies within 15 feet. So at the end of Doug Glatt's turn, all of his allies within 15 feet will also get, like, the end of turn, you're less frightened now, effect. Hmm. Okay. All right, so... Um... And I will just point out that right now, Harvey is not within 15 feet of Doug. All right, this uh, is a complex hazard, and I roll initiative 21, and I think I need everyone else to roll initiative. All right, so I just click on all the individual tokens and make perception checks, correct? Uh, no, get the encounter tracker up on screen. Yeah, if you open the combat tracker, it's one of the things in, on the right where the chat is. There's a dice that you uh, click, and that rolls initiative for you. I rolled for the snakes, my apologies. So, sorry, I, I'm very new to Foundry. Yeah. No problem. So, do you see the chat on the right? We do, yes. Uh, at the top, there's a little, like, speech bubble, and then there's a fist right next to it. Click on the fist. That'll take you to the encounter tracker. Fist, got it. And then and... the dice there. Um, just okay. click those dice. And if got you it. right, if you right click the fist, it'll pop it out as its own thing that you can just have while you also have the door open. If you want to be able to see the combat tracker while you're playing. Okay. Oh, and that is helpful. Thank you. Okay, Harvey, you get to act first, and uh, you are two hundred feet down the hall. Did we add the top to initiative here? Or uh, not uh, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, ideally, yes. If I have a moment, I'll do that. Okay. But they're at initiative count 21. If, Great. uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go quickly go talk to Team Marshall's private chat, because I'm not quite sure what they want me to do. Yeah. And don't want to make moves without their knowledge. Sure. Casters, feel free to speak up. I'm, this is the time to think. But it's actually not their turn yet, so... Okay. Oh, yeah. Harvey Bourbon. 
Ah, uh, sorry, so we just wait. Um, do what? What exactly do you run as far as like knowledge on how to disable uh, traps and hazards or haunts or what have you? Um, do we know those skills? Do we have to try them? How does that work? Yeah, um, you will need to recall knowledge uh, to be able to use a skill uh, right. to disable it or for your characters to know things about it. Okay. All right. I'm dead, so probably we're looking. Talk to the group, and we now have a plan. Weird plan, but I'm gonna just see what happens. Okay. Uh, Ranger will step back ten feet because he can go through diagonals, and that because it's a two-way hallway. Mhm. Mm and will then take a shot at this writhing mass of flesh in front of him with okay. a long. All right. Um. So go ahead and roll, Damon. Or yes. the attack. I mean, oh, yep. but we should say, I believe the hallway stuff is happening the full length of the hallway, not just past the 200 feet. That's, yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Just. Uh, we'll try and shoot at the thing. And the, including, it's in, they are also reaching the back of your party. Okay, 19 is, uh, uh, it hits the fingernail of one of the hands and bounces off. Hmm. It was uh, quite close. To can hit. I attempt to hunt prey this thing? I will say, um, if hunt prey includes, if it says the word creature, no. And so okay. I'm asking for text. Some note the yes, text. Uh, Beats. Hunt prey. Single foe. It does not say the word creature, but it says you focus your attention on a single foe. I'll allow it. Okay. So hunt prey will be third action. And okay. Turn. All right, Bonficio. Um. So, uh, Bonficio, was, uh, you said it was paralyzed, right? I will oh. just say the, the hunt prey action. Says you designate a single creature as your prey and focus your attacks against that creature. Oh, I'll default to that if that's the more official ruling. Yeah, I, I mean, I could be reading from the wrong spot here, but here's the link. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, so, do you want to do something different? Um, I'm going to try and shoot it again because I don't have any more plans for this yeah. character. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh. Okay, all right, uh, not a hit, and yep. your frightened value goes down to zero. Okay. Oh, actually, if you had, uh, I'm gonna kind of, rev uh, whoops, we have an intolerant hallway trap. Okay, Bonficio is paralyzed, and, uh, and he does nothing this round, but he is, his frightened value goes down. Mr. Well, no, actually. When you're paralyzed, you can take purely Concentrate action. actions. Yeah. So, Anything? you would like to recall knowledge. There. Oh. Hey, guys. Purely mental. Hmm. Interesting. But would he convey it to the rest of the party? Well, that's the thing. He won't be able to convey it immediately because he'll be paralyzed. But at the end of the turn, if they make the... If they, like managed unparalyzed, because I don't know how long, like, well, uh, to clarify, when you said paralyzed, Athea, was that paralyzed proper, or was that just like, description? No, paralyzed. Paralyzed proper yeah. for one round. Okay. So, 
I mean, if they paralyze, if they unparalyze at the end of their turn, then they can communicate what they know. All right. The All right. At the start of round two, we will adjudicate that. And okay. I assume well, you would be wanting to do that three times, if possible. Yes. Okay. Cool. Right. That's so. A, what something what I learned today? Check. What knowledge check? Technically. Um. Religion, well, cultism, weird things stuff. tend to be occult, and these things look undead, so religion, those would be... All right. Those are Bond generally how will... I tend to run it. Gotcha, gotcha. Bonfisher will roll occultism, then. Okay, um... and let's uh, deal with that at the start of round two. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, and uh, you wouldn't roll the check openly. That's a secret yeah. roll. Yeah, it would oh, be. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Because disinformation is a thing. No, no, okay. Enough. Bonfish. Right. What's um, Bonfish's occultism role though? Uh, it is a plus nine. And does do they have a religion bonus? Uh, minus one. I gotcha. All right, we're moving on to Mr. Adequate. He is uh, Mr. Adequate. Okay. Um, Mr. Adequate will uh, also roll a check to see what they know. Okay. Uh, and they are not paralyzed, so they can do so. That's you know, their first action. Um, they have occultism plus four. Uh, wait, hold on. That seems incorrect. Uh, it's only giving their... Oh, right. Occultism is based off of it. Mod. Yeah. Um, so we yeah, have a second. Sorry. Plus four. Go ahead. Uh, mind hopping into Caster's channel for just one second. Oh, sure. Alrighty. Get right back. Okay. I have ideas for what I want to do with Daddy Drow Face, but I'm not sure if you want to be hopping on initiative. I'm trying to think if, um, Sam, if... Yeah. Okay, if... We're going to have to, um... Be aware of meta-knowledge. I'm just going to tell everybody this. If, um, one team finds out something, the other team can't really act on it. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm planning on also spamming recall knowledge to keep sanctity of the game until I, like, get the same things that they were told. Mm -hmm. If that's understandable for everybody, and, like, we can all agree that is the thing that we do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think that's a reason. I think that's the fair way to handle it. Um. And I think there's just, you know, common sense can just sort of say. Yeah. You know. You probably don't need to recall knowledge to know undead might be it might be useful to try recalling knowledge with religion but something yeah. more specific than that if you know yeah it's common sense yeah writhing walls of flesh okay what is going on let me make some checks yeah. like i think that's fair response yes i oh, agree we're back considering we already tried to shoot them and that didn't work <laughs> yeah. yeah already uh, well we you just didn't hit their ac yes Ooh. Yeah, um, as I was like, tra traps can typically be attacked. Yeah, um, yeah, they all have stats. Yeah, um, it's generally not the best way to deal with them, but you can. Um, okay. Um, all right. So uh, we wanted to ask something. Um, would we have to succeed at the trap to attempt to disable it? Because, um, for instance, disabling. Uh, basically, to detect a hazard, to disable a hazard, you only have to have detected it. I would say it's reasonable to say that we have detected the hazard at the point. Uh huh. Um, so, could we attempt to disable? Yeah, but you'd have to describe what you're doing, and you uh, you don't have the benefit of recall knowledge to know what might be a good way to do that yet. But it doesn't hurt to try in okay. some instances. Okay. Um, then, uh, we will try maybe a religion prayer to offer, uh, to ask, uh, Phrasma to quell these undead. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me switch over channels. Something's come up. All right. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Um, actually, uh, yeah, cultism is better for them. So maybe, uh, you know, saying a chant to quell restless spirits. Did we try with occultism? Yeah, I'll say that. Alrighty. Uh. Oh, sod it should probably be up. <laughs> well, um, you, uh, they particularly, uh, the hands reach out towards you, <laughs> towards Mr. Adequate, and, uh, slap him in the face. That they're not, uh, uh not pleased. No. Alright, uh, last action in that case, um, will be inspired offense. Wait, you had a first action, which was to recall knowledge, right? Yes. And we'd never figured out what that was would do. Oh, right. So yeah. Did um, you did you have a um were you wanting to did you want to ask a question along with that recall knowledge? Uh What is the hmm I guess and a better actually, way to phrase what is what are, what are the disable skills for this thing? Okay, gotcha. Say. Can I ask now what Bonficia would have been asking first? Same thing. What are the disable skills for this thing? All right. So you... Um, hmm. I would say probably at this point we would keep uh, one, even if they learn a different skill. Maintain, you know, Ronald's rules of rolling. Right, right. So. Yeah, we're, we're fine with keeping the one. Uh, I declared that and then rolled. Um, just, yeah, for the, the initial <laughs> okay. knowledge check. Because the occultism check there was technically to try and see if occultism would disable it if we got lucky. But yeah, actually, I guess dependent on the recall knowledge. But either way, not one. All right, you think that um, overwhelming the area with um, religious, positive religious thoughts or energy or a prayer would be useful. And so religion or occultism could okay, be useful. So we were, all right, so, so we were on that track. Then you would have tried the same thing, though yep. you would have sensed that religion would have been better. But uh, you, you would roll, have rolled a, a one anyway. Yeah. And then last action, inspire defense. Okay, so you sing. Next is Daddy Drowface. Okay, so I have a question, and it is, can we still see the end of the hallway, and does it look like we can just get to the end of the hallway? It does. Okay, so in that case, uh, I'm going to have everybody delay until the ranger. Until Harvey Wait. Birdman? Until Lex Birdman? Like Daddy Drowface couldn't go before the trap. Oh, Daddy Drowface. I'm sorry, you're after the trap. I should have. Uh, Daddy Drowface is after the trap, that is correct. The intolerant trap. Because the trap's out of 21, yeah. Okay. The um, undead fists assail you in the hallway, dealing 4d6 bludgeoning damage, and this will be the same for both hallways. Ouch. 17. And everyone needs to do reflex saves now. So, go ahead and do those rolls, and then uh, actually, let's do it one at a time, front front to back. That's my cat. Uh, <laughs> let's do uh, who wants to be first? Uh, casters can go first. Okay, hold on. Mr. Adequate's fear went down. And okay, casters, go ahead. Already. So starting with the snack. Mm-hmm. Reflex. And reflex. Uh, that's um. Uh, it takes full damage, and its speeds are reduced by ten feet. And we should mm -hmm. report an inspired defense here. That's going to be important. Oh, Quick. it takes um. I I add. Inspired defense prevented one of that. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, and then Gex also has a plus one over what this is gonna roll. Reflex, you said, right? Yep. Alrighty. 
Okay, that's going to be 17 more. That there. is yeah. better. It's going to say, <laughs> above, above a 10 any time now, please. <laughs> Half damage and not slowed. Not, not uh, speed not reduced. Understood. All right. Uh, Chuffy. Again, wait, was that taking into account inspired oh, defense? Oh, sorry. Thank you, Sam. I'm going to give... Well, what I'm here for? Yes. Uh, the 12 is also not good. The effect applied to us because it gives plus one to saves. Yes, we are keeping that in mind. Uh, they're watching the, the stream in their channel, so they are going to be a few seconds behind. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. All right. Prince okay. Chuffy fails, and it's going to take 16 damage. Okay. Von Fischo is paralyzed. Can they even... How, does, how do we want to work that, generally? Just make the check anyway? It doesn't affect saves, I believe. Alrighty. Uh-oh, my cat is fascinated by my being, headphone cord. Oh no, being a goober. Alright, Bond Fisher gets an 18 total? Yes. And takes 16. Wow. Right. I always think that traps... Um, their charts are more powerful than their level would suggest. Oh. Oh, jeez. God. You have your hero point, but you know mm, it's to. the snick. It doesn't have a hero point. <laughs> no, the master can spend their hero point for it. But uh, uh no, no. All I right, think, I think that'll be fine. And uh, it's grabbed by the hands, and so it's it's not grabbed. It's immobilized for a round, and uh, it will go to dying two. Takes, yeah, both the damage. Okay, Megan. Megan's my oh, cat. Seem at the level that it's, it says it is. But All right. See. Let's uh, go to Team Marshalls. All right. So we heard a little thing about uh, move speed drops, and now we're scared to do our plan that we were talking about. So All right. Let's see what happens. That, that is just a well-designed trap, so good job. Um <laughs> Uh, so everybody makes reflex saves, correct? Yep. Okay. Starting with people in the front. That was Monk. Now Ranger. Alright, half damage for the Monk. And this is... Um, Ranger takes half. Where's this dog? Yep, this dog, so... Oh. He, you're getting better rolls. Uh, Wait, just... Mark uh, much worse rolls for the frightened, but better rolls for the damage. Mm -hmm. so maybe we'll a little bit. And then the owl. Okay, Every, they all succeeded. Um, Mark, you just built different. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I just want to make sure I only applied. I should have applied seven damage to the ones who succeeded. Uh, there was no, only it one. Been fire defense. So it would have been eight for the marshals. No, I'm talking about casters. I'm just double checking. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was a brutal um, round for the casters. Now, Daddy Drowface. I know Daddy Drowface. None of has you guys have skills. any reduced speed. Okay. Um, Daddy Drowface will try and identify what needs to be done to disarm this thing with occultism. Okay. Bonus, please. Which is a secret roll, technically, but. What's your bonus? Bonus. Uh, plus eight. Um, he uh, he is at a loss at this horrific uh, sight. Does not know. Uh, if he's we're using that his skill. Head and uh, uh, so he cannot use that skill again. Or for that question. Hmm. That's how I rule it. Okay, that's a fair ruling. Um. Then he's going to try and rack his brain, brain and go, Okay. Hmm. I don't know what other questions I want to ask. I see people are typing. No, uh, people are saying, is an investigator plus 10? No, it's plus 8 because he's only trained. Uh, we put expert in society because we thought humanoids would be more prevalent. Um. Give it to somebody else. Uh, 
Yeah, that is a good point from chat on my side. So, can the investigator use occultism to aid the recall knowledge check that the champion will eventually make? I I usually don't have aid on recall knowledge. That doesn't... Okay. It's hard to That's fair. justify. That's also fair. Um... Uh... I'm trying to think of other things this guy could be doing, and I'm like, uh... Mm. Yeah, I'm at a loss, and people are tech we don't have any shields. Um, so I'm just gonna shoot thing with bow. Because <laughs> right. I'm, I'm out of ideas. Do you wanna... okay, go ahead. Oh, right, there's the, uh... Best gear feature, which lets me devise a stratagem to, to pre-roll it. Yes. All right. So devise stratagem. I'm trying to. And I believe again, you I'm... have known weakness. Yeah. I'm trying to click on the feet section, but I cannot find it on the sheet for some reason. Crafting Christie feats. There it is. It's the metal. Um, so I got strategic strike here. Am I right that you yeah, have known weakness? I, I think you get a free recall knowledge when you devise a stratagem. Last feats, known weakness. I do have known weakness, correct. All right. I did a secret roll for you. Uh, All right. And you, I don't know how useful this is to you, but you see that it's weak to positive energy. Our champion did refocus during the thing, so... Actually not useless for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, and for the devising a stratagem, I do normally just roll the thing with intelligence instead of dexterity, correct? Yes, but when you see the, uh, the, the heads-up display in the upper left... Oh. I oh, that's a D12. That doesn't count. In the upper yeah. left, the stri under strikes, you see there's a toggle for devising a stratagem. There is. Okay. So, it won't change the displayed bonus up there, but it'll take effect when you actually roll. Okay. Uh, so now I can actually roll. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Okay. 18. All right. You um. You also are not able to get make purchase on those well, enemies. Technically, I believe he could choose not to make a strike at this point because he knows that's lower than a oh, roll that we already made. I do know that eighteen misses based you on do previous know. things. Yep. So he's got another action to do something else with the few Oh. Well. I am going to... <clears throat> I have no idea what else to do with this character. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm just frantically clicking on the sheet trying to think if there's anything that goes. You could aid something else. You know. Um... That is true. If it is only on that top side, uh, can I take cover behind the champion? Um... Normally you can't take cover behind a cre creature, behind lesser okay. cover. Uh, then I think it's just a wasted action unless there's something I'm missing. Unless I can like recall my Tharkana, but I doubt that's going to give us anything useful. Okay. Want to do that? Yep. Okay. Well. Hmm. It is a plus eight modifier yeah and I, I i gave the very hard modifier to this um okay to the dc and i uh, i think you succeed so you know that it's not your realm of expertise but that sometimes the uh, the unquiet dead can be calmed by uh positive energy or a, a prayer. 
And now the marshals know that we can use prayer. <laughs> uh, yeah. There we go. I now no longer meta gaming technically. <laughs> All right, now you can uh, use full brain. Now I can okay. use full brain power. Uh, okay, so that's his turn. He yells this to Again. the party. Now it's Jean Claude Van Halen, the monk. Yep. And I remember looking at his skills. Oh, and sorry. He doesn't really have... Sorry, your uh, frightened goes down. I... It's easy to forget that. Yep. It is easy to forget that. And champion has not moved yet. I'm just gonna quickly look at the skills. I'm trying to remember what all the icons look like. Proficiency. It looks like an open hand. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I have some wild minuses on all oh, yeah, this the, stuff. Oh yeah, the bird's <laughs> frightened goes down because yep. the masters did. Okay, uh, my group mentioned something pretty interesting, and in that the monk in the spellcasting section, which looks like the wand, uh, has key strike, which allows him to do positive damage with attacks. Mm-hmm. And so I think that I will do this and use a Flurry of Blows with Keystrike. Marshals have mystical moves too. Mm hmm. Hey, Marshals can abuse weaknesses too, you know? <laughs> All right. Spells. He uh, spent an action to have Keystrike and now is going to try to Flurry of Blows the, the hands. Uh, so. so I'm going to click flirt. Actually, can I gorilla stance before I flurry of blows to take? Because the monk would know to go yes, gorilla stance. Yes, just that, so, yes. Yes, player, I forgot. Yeah, don't have to click flurry of blows. That's not. Just click the strikes because flurry of blows will just display the rules. Okay. So, and this is what the plus one status bonus from key strike. Yes. Well, we'll so, have to apply it with it. Well, we'll add it on after, but uh, I'm just saying that there is, uh, and then I have another okay. strike made it with the monthly attack penalty. All right. So one of them hits. Yep. Which means that it does two of the damage from Gorilla Stance. I'm pretty sure Gorilla Stance was the. Eight. I'm gonna quickly check check the ruling on that feet because I don't remember exact dice. Apologies. This is. Oh, I know. It's um. Oh, I didn't write it down. That's uncharacteristic of me. I can look up. That was me misclicking something because it showed a volume though I deleted the command, but Gorilla slams are one D eight bludgeoning. Okay, so it's gonna be two D eight well, three D eight because of Keystrike, right? Um I think Keystrike just says the strike still next to one D six. So it isn't another die, it's just one D six. Alright, yes, and I will point out that um Gorilla stand strikes have back swing. There's plus one bonus, a circumstance bonus to the second attack. Uh, but if the first okay, one misses. so the ten misses. Like oh, right. never mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think it, that is the damage, and then plus the weakness. Cool. You are right. So seventeen, and then add ten to that, and that is a. Ooh. Uh, oh, whoops! That should not be. Um, that's not its health. <laughs> Um, okay, you know what? Chat is telling me just go for a third attack because, you know, we have three attacks. We might as well just use all three attacks. So, chat is saying roll for it. And is that alright with you? Uh, sure. But it was one action for key strike, one action for the stance. What was. Oh, then flare blows. No, that's three. You're right. Okay. No, key strike includes the flurry. Yeah, no, key strike includes the flurry blows. Yeah, oh, okay. I have one more attack. Right. Uh, at only a plus one, so. Boop. You never know. Um, I. Oh, it was because that was flurry blows. I need to click that. All right. Yeah, that's a. That's All right. A not. <laughs> that won't hit many things. Okay, so that is, is a whiff. Gex. 
Alrighty. Gex is just going to roll religion. Uh, they might be a god. Uh, they might they might be godless, but uh, well, when the <laughs> tips are down, suddenly they do in fact find God. I guess. Okay. Um, this is an open. So, book. yeah. Uh, so first religion check. Uh, they are praying to Phrasma. Nope. All right. Uh, any consequences for that, or just next action? No consequences. Alrighty. Okay. All right. Uh, he he uh, he remembers one of the aphorisms of Phrasma, and uh, you see the 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 hands uh, seem to hesitate and All right. are not uh, showing hostility at the moment. We keep going. Okay, you wanna... Uh, yeah, so, uh, sorry, yeah, roll again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. What is with uh, these dice? <laughs> Alright, one, one of them slaps you, but the, the remaining uh, are holding back. Very okay, good. Doug Glatt. Alright, Doug has a, another fun ability that he will be popping on this thing, because vulnerabilities are very funny and cool and good. And I'm looking at Die Drop Face, not Doug Glatt. Um, that explains why there wasn't anything in spellcasting, because this guy is lay on hands. Yeah. And I want to lay on hands targeting the bad guy. Uh, go ahead and roll for it. Or, oh wait, it's not a roll, it's just... You, you have to roll, um, I believe, 2d6. Six points. Against an undead target, you deal, uh, 2d6. I must attempt a basic fortitude save. So I roll 2d6 and you attempt a basic fort save. Right. Uh, so, one quick. This says targets one willing living creature or one undead creature. Hmm. Rules as written, this doesn't work. Rules as intended, I'm sure it does, but rules as written, this doesn't, you know. Yeah, I mean, exactly. the thing is. Um... I don't believe this trap says it's undead. Like, it doesn't have a trait. So. Uh, well, this is described as being actual fists, not like spirits, and it's not an object, and it doesn't seem to be treated... I mean, another thing I'm looking um, at the stack block is it doesn't have a hardness entry, so I, I'm thinking it's gonna kind of be treated as a... Well, it does have a sure. broken threshold. Yeah, I just want to point out that, like, they're, you know... Yeah, like, I'm fine with either ruling. I think that the champion, no matter what, would commit this action because he thinks it would work. Yeah. Um, let me think. This is... Um, uh, I mean, I do have this other issue. I, I, I have to see, get my other question answered, though, because I know yeah. that I'm wondering if there's just a misprint here. I don't see much of a reason for this to work, but not the hunt prey, personally. Hold on. Uh, oh, real quick, actually, it turns out uh, we may have been cheating by accident. Uh, disable is a two-action activity. Disable? No, that's a specific... I don't think you're doing the disable action. Um... It... If he was doing the religion thing to calm it down, it was. Okay, I mean, I'm fine with that. Disable, Ronald, if you read the stat block. Well, if it uses the word... Ugh. Okay, now I have three rules questions in my brain. It, it's in Hold the disable category. Like, disable is bolded and then it outlines rules that I'm I, not going to say. I know, about. but uh, there, there's going to be rules somewhere about this is how you read a stat block for a hazard. So can you look up that, Sam? Yeah. Because I don't think it entails a disable activity because the uh, disable is disable a device um, action activity. Found it. I'll paste it into the chat. Uh, do... Oh, hmm. Disabling. 
yeah, you know what? I, I believe that makes it more balanced because otherwise you can try to disable something three times in a round and I don't think that's intended. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what would you do as your third action instead, Gex? Yeah, uh, prepare to aid another religion check. But then this would... Sure. So the arms are not calmed. We should prepare for the cast. Yeah, the correct. Yeah. And they didn't slap you. All right, then we're back to me trying to find out whether there's a misprint about this hazard. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, not everything has stats to attack it. I'm noticing that. Brown Mole does not have hardness. There's been about 15 minutes of in-game time, and it's taken us an hour and a half to play those 15 minutes. But you're not helping, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. It's just interesting. Okay, Brown Mole does not have a hardness, so I think it is intentional to not have a hardness. I just wanted to allay that. So, okay, back to Lay on Hands. It says Creature, and I think that... Yeah, I, I think this is almost like attacking a swarm. I, I think it would not work here because, um, but you're free to not do that now that you, the GM's ruled because, uh, I mean, the character arguably would know that Lay on Hands only affects one thing and this is like many things, so. That's fair. Okay, uh, in that case, Doug will religion check to try and disarm with holy prayers and okay. things like that. All right, go ahead. Uh, proficiencies, religion, click, click. <laughs> uh, well, he needs to, uh, do, that paladin needs to do better. He's going to uh, self-flagellate. Then he's just going to try and hit it with his long stick. Okay, that's another way to deal with, uh, scary things. Yeah. Uh, poke with big stick if it matters. Uh, going for... Okay. Well, that's, um, not successful. And yep. because he failed his will save against the initial, um, assault, his frightened value cannot go below one. Oof. Yeah, and, um, I'm... At the... And End so of his turn. I knew that this was going to come up, <laughs> and it's yeah. ambiguous. So I think I think the way that it's written in the rule is not a condition. It's just uh, trying to clarify. It does not. It could have said if his value goes down, frightened value goes down to zero, then the others do. But it does not say that. It just says when, and so. Yeah. I think the they benefit from the aura, and Daddy Draft Face is less frightened. All right, yep. any but objections? No, 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 no. None. Okay. All right, we're moving on to Prince Chuffy. I, I believe Doug's done, right? Yeah, Doug has done those three actions. Prince Chuffy. Although, wait, Ronald, did Daddy did Daddy Draft Face fail? Um. Yes, he had to have failed. You're correct. So it can't go below one. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then, did right, the so... did the monk fail his save? He did. So if he the goes... monk goes right, yes. Yeah. Very good. All right, now Prince Sheffy Lickwoon, the cleric. Yep. So. Um... Yeah. Okay. That roughly determines what we're going to do then. Alrighty, um, so we are going to proceed to roll that religion check with the aid from Gex. Alright, So Gex does a religion aid. Yep, uh, so rolling Gex first. Okay. Uh, the hands seem to be calm. No, they're not. This is the aid. This is the plus one. This is the aid. Yep. Alrighty. And then the actual check. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ah, uh, no. The. Alright. What else do you want to do? Um. 
They might not stay up another round. Um, battle medicine themselves. All right. Team um, Casters so is good. kind of being screwed by dice right now. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, Harvey well, Birdman is next. All right. We actually just talked about what we wanted to do on the Ranger's turn, and we know that Ranger will bird to do two attacks, wants to make an attack himself, and then wants to move. So, Say that again. All right, the uh, bird's attacking. You do one bird. thing at a time. So, bird's attacking. Yeah. Uh, I am hovering bird right now, so bird has a jaw strike, which it will make first. Okay. Nope. It's uh, it's not successful. It will then make an attack with talons because more accuracy. Uh huh. All right. It is accurate. So it's All it's right. raking at those hands. And that is that much damage. Okay. Um. That breaks the trap. The hazard. Yo. They are. Are um. They they're. The bird and the monk have collectively freaked out those hands, and they are um, now protecting their themselves. They're kind of withdrawing. Okay. All right. Uh, Harvey Birdman is still going to go for the kill though, because I feel like deal with trap completely. Okay. Cover him. I'm going to try and strike with composite longbow. Oh, All right. People are messaging me. Uh, people are saying to just go back to running down the corridor, so I'm just going to go with what chat wants me to do, and I'm going to run down the corridor for two actions with Birdman. Oh. Okay, so you're just going to walk down the hall? Yeah. Alright, so 25 foot speed, I believe. Yep. Alright. Alright. Bond. But he's doing. Huh? That was two actions. Oh, it was. That was two. Uh, he can start twice because I'm not doing the attack because Chad is telling me not to. I'm gonna go with what my team wants to do. What's happening? So you commanded. Um. He commanded command, and then started twice. And then started twice. Okay. All right. All right. Bond Fisher and paralyzes. Correct. Yes. All right. Uh, Bon Fisher will spend two actions to roll a Disable Occultism. Okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> um, alright. Okay. Nope. Prepare to aid Mi Mr. Adequate's check isn't very... Let me check if we want to spend a hero point on this. Well, Mr. Adequate has a chance, so... Well, I'm not, I yeah, shouldn't well, be helping. Uh, a, a plus four, so that's not reliable in the slightest. Especially not when the I dice see. are relentlessly rolling twos and threes. One second. What if Team Casters dies in this hallway? That would be kind uh, of unfair. Then that sounds like an easy win for us, baby. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I'd be very disappointed if that happened. Yeah, we would we would resurrect them, but that would be it would put an asterisk. I'm sorry. It would Alrighty. Put an asterisk. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, no hero point. Uh, we're just gonna prepare to aid uh, Mr. Adequate. We're going for oh, it. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Adequate. All right, all right. Von Fischer's aid check. And I want to be clear that uh, hold on, sorry, mm -hmm. Von Fischer, who who succeeded on their saves? Because look, the, according to this, they all. F um, okay, the snakes should not have. Okay, this snake was frightened too originally. Um. All Anyone who succeeded on their save should not be frightened anymore. Yeah, I think all of the casters succeeded. 
Does that sound right to Team Marshalls? Remember we said that they had um, no... Yeah. Oh, I wait, was no. This... Marshalls succeeded. The casters... Wait. The Marshalls had a, quite a few people that succeeded. I know that the Marshalls rolled pretty high on all their saves. Yeah, I'm mis- yeah, sorry, I meant um, not all of the casters. For fairness oh. sake, oh. I yep. just wanted to inform you that we failed every single check thus far, including the initial save. So everyone is right. For yeah, this. everyone was, what was it, feared two or whatever. All right. Well, I mean, we can check the, the chat logs, but like the dice, good grief. No, I, I, we're pretty positive we failed <laughs> well, every single check uh, thus far. This snake, though, had a, um, was frightened no, the snake one. Snake failed the reflux, yeah. Well, the one that's mm-hmm. now unconscious, but... <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's not frightened anymore. It doesn't have consciousness. <laughs> to be frightened. I don't know. glass half full already. Um, Just well... Yeah, all. no. Alrighty. Um, like, we had... We had one person. I think Mr. Adequate made oh. the will save and shouldn't be frightened anymore. But everyone else, I think, should still be, like, frightened one after the one turn. Foundry needs to let us search this, uh, um, I think I can go back to the beginning. Oh, oh, seven days ago is definitely last week. Oh, it's not that far ago. I think I can find it, because this is important. <laughs> uh, Harvey Birdman. Oh, no, no. All right. Gex succeeded. The snake did not. Mr. Adequate succeeded. Prince Jeffy Lickwound succeeded. Bonficio critically failed. And Prince Cheffy Liquid Snack succeeded. The unconscious one. All right, these are correct now. Okay, all right. Well, alrighty then. Uh, so, rolling the aid check from Bonficio for Mr. Adequate. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> the, the, there's, there's the next control. die is going to be a one for that. <laughs> okay. So, All come right. on, you can do it. Alright. Oh. Well, mm, that's mm, not succeeding. No. Yeah, no. Alright. Well, Wait. um... You might, you might be alright on the reflex saves. Okay, we'll see. Gex Snack needs yeah. to do a recovery check. Yeah. Um... Watch your hold on. Has it been a full round? Oh, no, hold on. The... Oh, the snake's turn would move to just oh, before the Oh, Bonficio, um, hold on, let me figure out something. Bonficio yeah. would have figured out, would have gotten three successful, no, no, two successful recall knowledge checks. The first one would have gotten the same information. The second one would, you would have known about the positive weakness. Okay. Hey, Ronald, can you yeah. look in the judge chat really quickly? If you were able to. Theoretically, we could just spam heal at this, but no. Um, I'll say the answer is yes, Sam. <laughs> okay. Cool. If that's um, useful to somebody, let them know, Sam. What's useful? The the answer I just gave. Because the characters know, so. Wait. So the answer to my question is yes? Hold on. Okay. I didn't want to reveal information. I'm sorry, I'm just being really careful because it could mess things up if I... I'm not sure what your question's about. Okay. Your characters believe on both teams that religion or occultism would work. Yep. That sounds about right. Okay. Alright, What? Uh, let's... Uh, Mr. Adequate, what's happening? Alright, Mr. Adequate? <sighs> what are you doing? Yeah. Again? Yeah, so Mr. Adequate uh, botches that occultism check. We are dying on this hill and not spending resources. So, um, I think we proceed to 
I mean, spend the next action on Inspire Defense to renew that. Yeah, but kind of relying on your, you know, there are some strong medicine skills, so it's not all. Yeah, as all long right. as we're not all downed, I think we can recover. Okay, do a flat check for the snake. Oh yeah, right. Uh, do you need twelve? Not a what? Not one. Okay. Not a not one. <laughs> all right. Dude, so snakes, three. <laughs> snakes at dying three. All right. The in oh, the trap is about to attack the snake. Oh. Uh, Oh, uh, we forgot that part in our calculations. Oh, well, we're probably losing a snake. I mean, you can hero point to uh, auto-stabilize, I guess. You could. That is mm. true. Okay, here comes the, the... The trap will do the same... Wait? It's only calmed... Wait, it's, it's not... There's only one hallway where it's still attacking, and it's not calm, so here we go. What do you mean there's one? The, it, it was broken in the marshals. It was broken in the marshals hallway, so it can't act anymore. Yeah. Oh, right. All right. we kind of snapped its arms. So, yeah. slightly above average again for the trap. So, let's do reflex saves from the front to the back. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Flex... Oh, there you go. That's uh, only seven damage. So okay. I think the conclusion we can take from this is, you know, we're still not sure if marshals or casters are better, but we are sure that dice are the gods and they like the marshals. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yep. We found out. Naturally, all, all of the good dice rolls are coming out on the saves. Our, our science has shown us that there is a god and that it favors marshals. <laughs> yeah, that that is true because uh, it's just god. Um. Uh. <laughs> Look at all these great rolls now. But actually, you know, this is actually when... showing us that dice are not completely against the casters. Well, but it's just funny that, um, <laughs> like... If these rolls had been on the disable checks, they wouldn't have been the yeah. uh, I rolled off the point. Okay, Snake dies unless you spend a hero point. Uh, yeah, yeah, we will. Let's okay. Alright. So, um... Uh... Yeah. Next is, uh... We, we don't... Uh, I'm gonna take all of the marshals out of initiative. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna casually strut down the hallway, occasionally <laughs> up to sort of dominate whistling a jaunty tune. Yeah, uh, we're we're done. Uh, we can okay. now use all of our actions to bond mod the casters in real life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Brain. <laughs> oh, I wonder how the caster team is doing next hallway over. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gex. All right. Um, two actions to try and disable. Yeah. Okay. There it is. All right. We're just gonna. I believe this is gonna be your um. <clears throat> shall I say rotation and? Yeah. Safe to say that. And then just aid. Sure. The bard proceeds to inspire defense instead. Yeah. Okay, so I assume you're going to aid the next person, so... Yep, so roll the check again for the aid check. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. And then Prince Sheffy's yep. primary check. Yep. Uh, religion. Uh, <laughs> prepare to aid. <laughs> what is happening? I know. <laughs> Never mind. This went from a check minus to a check plus. <laughs> I hope we all die here, just despite the dice at this point. <laughs> despite despite the event. <laughs> I right. think that if they wipe, you should just take away three heal spells and then put them back. <laughs> they would have to 
to survive, <sighs> cast heal to survive the hallway. Yeah. So they would be. <laughs> they would have to keep fighting. Okay. Shuffy's aid check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that good roll. Okay, and now for the, like, nat three. <laughs> mm, that, um, with the eight, succeeds. Oh, okay. So you now know you need an 18, and um, you are... The hands seem to be not attacking you for a, a, a period. Uh... <laughs> My, my team would like would like it noted that we will not heal. We will die and refuse resurrection by Phrasma. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasma refuses to raise. But um, they uh, they're they're not they haven't given up though. The hands seem to just be pausing. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna keep on keeping on aid, and then the next person okay uh, rolls to quell as well. The so will probably not die. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, so Bonfisho's aid attempt for inadequate. Okay, success. Okay. And then inadequate yes. attempt. Ah, there's enough. The hands are, uh, um, seem to, uh, Draw back further and in, back into the walls, but they have not completely given up. Gex's turn. Right. Since since they're quelled, um, Mr. Attic will aid instead. Um, and then Mr. Mm -hmm. Attic puts aid check. Well, okay. that's on minus um, one. Then, all right. And then Gex's check. Okay. All right. The hands seem to. There's a, the cacophony of moans uh, seems to have stopped, and the hands are now kind of quietly, with uh, retracting into the walls. Okay. Uh, it's medicine check time. <laughs> Ronald, are we ruling it that this the amount of time to get through the hallway takes away one of their ten minutes, or can they still use? It doesn't take are ten minutes. It's just like a few minutes. I, I, I'm gonna not really count it. Well, what actually, it should. Seventy-five feet. It's like, nah. It's like thirty seconds. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, actually, one minute because they're using search, but it's kind of inconsequential. All right. So the mark. Someone remind me. Um, I believe, how much? How before people proceeded down the hallway? How much time passed in each corridor? Uh, 10 minutes for the casters and 20 for the marshals. Yeah. So the casters do have a little bit of extra time to get back on their feet. Okay, casters, let's do your second 20 minutes. Yeah, now we really need it. Okay, um, let me check. Did Sheffy have ward medic? And that was, I don't think they did. I think we only have one person with ward medic. Uh, but we do have continual recovery. So... We can effectively repeatedly heal up three people at a time for every ten minutes, and then I think Von Fischer actually also has. Uh... Okay, Ronald, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm that also with no recovery. Sorry, two people at once. Who? What do I Sorry. need to hear? Uh, nothing. Okay, nothing for me. Okay, so um, Gex will uh, go ahead and do Ward Medic on themselves and uh, Chuffy. Mm -hmm. um, Chuffy can heal the... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stack them like this. So Chuffy's going to heal here. Gex is going to heal themselves and this then Chuffy. We're we're basically doing a healing circle here. Um, <laughs> and then Bonfisher can only doesn't have continual recovery. 
so they can only do it for a little bit. But we can have uh, Bonefish O tend to Mr. Adequate. There we go. So, all right. Um, How do I read? Chuppy has War Medic. So, uh, no, uh, Gex has War Medic. So, so who are the healers yeah. right Ronald, now? Ronald, look at the Dutch Tech secret yeah, so, talk for a minute. Yeah, so Gex is going to roll and heal the Down Snake and Chuffy. Yes. So okay. that's going to be that. All right, declare um, what level? Oh, uh, trained. Okay. Yeah. All right, first for the... Well, actually, yeah, if they have Ward Medic, you said you roll twice, and you roll once and apply for both, right? Yeah. All righty. Uh, use tools. Nice. Okay, so that's critical. Okay, 17. Dice still being a little fickle. That's below average, but not too far. Um, so that healing for the... Snake and Chuffy, mm -hmm. and then Chuffy is going to heal a snake, also trained level. Um, Wait, you're in another 10 minutes if you're doing that. No. Uh, oh, the other snake. Gex, Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Uh, gonna be medicine. Ah, <laughs> oh, those expanded tools are not helping here. Okay, then Bonfisho. Right. Yep, then Bonfisho into Mr. Adequate. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's the second 20 minutes. Um, and what what is Team Marshalls doing now? Uh, Team Marshalls will also be doing some healing circle type shenanigans. <laughs> uh, first, uh, I'm going right. to see Jin Von Claude is exactly missing 12 HP, so I'm going to lay on hands him. No roll, just full health. Yeah. And then Champion's going to refocus. Yep. And can and then... someone treat wounds themselves? Yes. Is that a... Yes. Okay. So then Daddy Drawface will treat himself and the bird with just assurance and not risky surgery. All right. And Harvey Birdman will treat Doug. Okay. And I'm going to pull up the sheets so that way I can... And it's just 2d8 of healing for all of them, so I'm just going to roll 2d8 three times. Bird, then Daddy, and then uh, Doug. Daddy and Doug would have the same healing. Okay. That's how In I... that case, I'm just going to roll the two of them. The two of them got six total. Also, Monk refocuses. Yes, that is a good point from chat. Um, thank you, chat. Okay. I'm going to give them a thumbs up so that way they know that I'm paying attention to them. <laughs> um, and then another four healing. For the bird. Okay. Um, this is actually your third 10 minute uh, increment. That and was. So... Yep. Anything else? In Marshalls for the third 10 minutes. Okay, now Team Casters. All right. Uh, Chuffy is going to just. Chuffy does have continual recovery, but does not have Ward Medic. So, gonna try and heal Gex now. Chuffy's gonna roll it. Oh, I had them arranged like that for oh. my own memory purposes. Sorry. All right, I'll follow um, what you say then. Yeah, so okay. Prince is going to heal Gex, so medicine. And all these are for trained difficulty only, unless we say otherwise. So okay. that's two Gex. And then Gex has Godless Healing, so plus five to that, so 11 points of healing. And only. Oh no, it's bad medicine, but yeah. Um, alrighty. And then. Gex is going to catch up on Fisho and the Chuffy Snake. So, roll. Oh. 
really. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well. Oh, okay. Like not having assurance. Rip. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So a crit fail is one. A D eight. So. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> what god did you make angry? Um, <laughs> and this is why you take assurance. Okay, that's a 1 in 1 in 60 chance of just having happened. Um, I mean, statistically speaking. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, that's, that's ten minutes for us. Ronald, a one in one sixty chance of what happening? Oh, rolling a one, rolling a minimum on the d twenty and rolling a maximum on the oh self damage. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I believe that's the third ten minute increment. It's zero point six three percent. Okay. So. All right. Uh, I'm asking both teams what you do now. Um, I have a specific way that I want to heal everybody back up to full. Okay. And I am just going to state that Monk is refocused, he has his focus point back, and mm -hmm. I'm going, because chat keeps on wanting me to make sure that I did that, and I'm going to have Doug then heal Daddy Jarrell face back to full. I'm going to have these three stand in a circle like this, and Daddy Jarrell face will then heal Bird and Doug, and then Harvey will heal himself. All right. Say things again as we do. Um, Daddy is getting healed by lay on hands, being at full health, no roll. Mm -hmm. uh, Doug and Harvey can both get healed by Daddy Drow face for the sake of simplicity, both with assurance, both healing a minimum of two, being at full health. And, and then the man. bird will also get healed by assurance, but that will just be two d8s, and because it's four HP, I actually need to roll it. Who's healing the bird? Uh, Harvey Birdman will be healing his own bird. Yep. Which is seven healing to everybody's full health now. Very good. And then Champion will refocus because just healed somebody, so might as well refocus while you have the time. Yep. All right, Team Marshals, we are in the fourth, fourth uh, unit of time. Okay. All right. Um... Looking at the Marshall's character sheets, none of them have continual recovery, so how have they no, been? No, they do on my cheat sheet. No, they do. Oh, yeah, now the, the investigator has. Yeah. The investigator has, has and the up. ranger. Yeah, are, are there two medics? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we're having a Champion be the burst healing that we need. Okay. So. Yeah, yep. just like that. 10 points, no, no, the, 10 minutes to recover, and then immediate. Uh, Immediately on hands, yeah. For the okay. record, I take no offense to you doing that. Like, it's a good thing to keep people honest, okay? Yep, yep. No offense <laughs> taken. And, um, really, um, All right. the character sheets that are posted, they, it's not there. So it's weird. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah. All good. All right. Okay. Um, well... Wow. However, that needs to be corrected. You need to be able to see what your opponents have. Um, okay, what do casters do? Wade through this relentless tide of nonsense. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, okay. Chuffy is going to try to uh, patch up. No, no. Gek should keep healing bombs. You have better chances. Critical. Now I'm doubting myself. Um, no, nah, we're going to we're going to keep it like this. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Daddy Drow face. It's on his PDF on page two under feats. Um, so. And then, and then uh, <laughs> somebody added plus two hundred feet of elevation to the snake. <laughs> Uh, that that's in, uh, the, that was the distance down the hallway. Yeah, up there. 
<laughs> I thought it was a uh, they they done they done went to heaven joke. Anyway, yeah, that was I think that was the other snake. Anyway, um, alrighty. So yeah, Chuffy's gonna uh, medicine check. All right. You're supposed to be. Probabilities are supposed to put you at um, near full health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone can I mean, um, go back through this really video and see what your average yeah. roll is. <laughs> oh. You really can't fault them for it at this point. Like, the dice just decided that they wanted the marshals to win. Yeah. <laughs> it's at least not a dishonorable way to lose. But, well, uh, see, um, the marshals planned around the dice hating us by taking assurance everywhere. So that's just the weakness of the casters. That, and I think that's built in. So you know, uh... <laughs> statistically speaking, we shouldn't have needed assurance. <laughs> statistically speaking, uh, does not meet the real world well. Uh... All right, let's. These um... dice don't meet real world probability. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to another nat one from Gex here on that ward medic. Okay, <laughs> I had okay. to jinx it, you see. All right. Um, yeah, you have to jinx it. You have to get reverse jinxes. Yeah. The dice did that just to show you that they were listening and will make all of your things wrong. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, so seven apiece, and that's us for that ten minutes. All right, is Marshall's now just proceeding down the hallway? Uh, I talked to the other people on the Marshall team, they're just saying, just move onward and ask if we can get a bonus for finishing 20 minutes early. No. No. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. So you're just gonna, um, tarry along the hallway. Yep. Not too fast, not too slow, and I don't know if anyone's gonna get that joke. Probably not. No. Um. Oh, we're the wizards. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, continue with um, yep. uh, the caster's um, saga with, um, okay. you know, yep. their struggle with their medicine tools. Okay, there's a success. I assume that's going to be uh, P Prince Chuffy on Gek's neck. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Below right. average while we're at it, of course. Uh, Gex... Uh, ward medic for both of them. <laughs> okay, good. It <laughs> we still made the fifteen on a mat. <laughs> yeah, that's all uh, you know. We this whole time, one, time, huh? Yeah, I know, right? We we would have actually actually we have a plus one from from meta for medic tools. We would have made it on a nat two except for that nat one. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, mm. okay. Ah, oh, there's a nice okay. roll there. There you go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That certainly helps. Okay. And you would be at near full if you didn't, you know, if Gex hadn't, you know, slashed them earlier. And yeah, it might here's... be not taking assurance. Uh, the, the rest of the 10 minutes <laughs> was spent convincing them to come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's our last 10 minutes. Yep. All right. Um, Snake's going to have to make two... This snake will rotate in. No, no. PCs get priority. Um, Chuffy on a snake. Gex on. Let's see. Missing 11. Missing 14. Missing 12. Bone Fisho is going to miss out. Uh, Gex will heal themselves and Mr. Adequate. Alright. So. Chuffy. Actually, that's down 8. Maybe... No, okay. This is what we do. Okay. Uh, Chuffy is going to patch up Gex. Mm -hmm. Got it. Alright. Very good. And Gex, and then Gex is going to patch up Adequate and the Snake. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Okay. So. Oh, Gex heals another five from uh, Godless Healing. Mm. All right, this is your so That was your plan with grading heal spells. Big Correct. <laughs> yeah, well, basically Godless Healing was an extra five. Um, so, so uh, that's right, Bombfisher got healed by, uh, by Gex earlier, right, actually? I think so. Bombfisher also has Godless Healing, so they'd get another five. Let me double check. Okay. Yeah. That's been, uh... Yeah, no, yeah, sorry. You do. I missed that at the time, but yeah. Um, okay. Well, considering what the dice were doing to us, we are in moderate shape. Yeah. Very good. All right, so full disclosure, there was a hidden pit in the hallway, so that, you know, when people were going to panic from the arms and run down the hallway, it was going to get them. But I'm deleting it for both teams because of time. I want us to get through um, as much as we can today. So you are now going to go to room three. Bum, bum, bum. Whoops. No, oh, room three. Oh, uh, snowshoes. No, not room three, room two. Advance. Yeah. Well, snow snowshoes before we advance, if we can. Sure. Um, since like, like three actions to put on. All right. Run. So I I'll believe go. all of Team Casters has snowshoes on currently, except the snakes. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I believe I believe the the druid did not was not able to afford them. Let me double check though. Yep, yeah, Bonfisho has them. I'll move them over to. Out of the backpack. Yeah, Bonfisho, not Gex. No, Gex, yeah, not Gex. Mr. Adequate does, and Prince Jeffy does. So Gex lacks them. And you can, uh, now the teams can indicate where in that purple area they would like to start. Okay. Let me consult with my team real briefly. I sure. think I know our general plan. Uh, I'm also going to go talk to my team, but yeah. I just like one quick rules clarification before I go back. Mm -hmm. uh, Daddy Drow, Drowface can pursue a lead. Would he have oh, any yeah. knowledge if they pursue a lead? Hey, hold, um, I need casters to come back. Okay. Can, can you tell them, Sam? Uh, sure, give me one second. Thanks. Because I feel like knowing Ronald, that would... Chat really quickly if you can. Because the, the, the teams are going to be aware of what they're going to fight before actual combat starts. Okay. Sorry about that. Are we all back? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you see in this... Uh, this is a... This next room is... A magical wilderness room with a hundred foot ceiling, and upon um, uh, peering inside, uh, you see that there is a large beast that is unhappy with its predicament. It's not a cat. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear my cat. Uh, yeah, I, I thought the cat was part of the music because it was in time. I'm like, That's a weird choice for the song. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great boss, a giant cat. Yes. All right, next time, next time, we'll remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll file that away. Um, you know, the final boss is my cat, who has not had... I was thinking I'm ignoring her. Um, yeah, it's a white dragon. And oh. it's uh, flying around, and it's unhappy, and you are... You know, so this is going to simulate kind of you're hunting a dragon, and so you have some time before um, actually being, you know, engaging in a fight. And so there is mm -hmm. time to pursue a lead in this case and for people to recall knowledge now. All right. So I and figure you guys should, we should adjudicate this before you decide where to stand. 
And Ronald, have you seen my uh, message in the judge's oh. chat? I will look. Okay. Of my, you asked me quite a while ago about this, and I'm sending a screenshot of my answer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to hop into the other chat and ask them what kind of things they want to do in the prep phase. Yeah, because... same. Yeah. All right, there's going to be a good amount of thought now, I think. So let's take a, um, just give them the time they need. And also yeah. in game, they would have um, this time. Like in their characters would have this time. Yeah. Megan is now tugging at my headphone cord. Sit in my lap, Megan. It will simplify things. Uh, Sam, that last sentence in particular, I got, I, I believe, I agree with that. The one that I just said? No, in this, in your little um, picture. Okay. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Okay. It's your call here. I'm just giving my two cents. So I'm thinking this is simulating actual adventuring conditions. Even though we called it a room, it's also supposed to be kind of outside. So they're hunting this dragon, and so they would have some time to do some pre-buffing, I think. Yeah. Megan, just jump in my lap. I think she doesn't see a safe place to jump out. 
Come on, come on. Can someone in chat say they hear me? Because there seems to be a significant lag for the broadcast right now. Yes, it seems to be maybe almost 10 seconds from what I can right. tell by looking at your mouth moving. Uh, we talked about some stuff over there. Yeah. Clearly. And, uh... Can our ranger hunt prey the dragon if we can see it? Yes. You can okay. basically do some reasonable pre-buffing if you were hunting a dragon in a real adventure. Yeah. So hunt prey, pursue a lead, etc. Yeah. Etc. Uh, can you tell me other stuff? Uh, Spell I, I am going to read through the other stuff. I'm just saying that there might be other stuff. I don't think so, but there might be. Okay. Wow, I think there's like a one minute lag between for the broadcast right now. Oof. Wow. I just yeah. read a response to something. I asked chat to respond to me and that makes this there's no I way saw to your mouth. Oh, it's on low latency instead of ultra low latency. I told it to be ultra low. Oh, it's because I went to a new strat um let's see. Oh. It's because I went to a new stream. Um. Oh. Ron, you see the message I sent? So, it's not letting me change it midstream. So, if we want the latency to be improved, I think I have to end stream and restart it. With nine viewers, I think that's okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm, that. I'm going to end and then re go live again, folks. Ooh, three streams for the price of one. <laughs> All right. So, as far as I can tell, if everyone 